search continues for a 58 year old Sykes and grandfather who's believed to have gotten lost while hunting in Carter County. Jeffrey Bullard is live in the studio now with the latest. Jeff, authorities are still searching for Philip Carnell. He's been missing since Sunday afternoon. Earlier today, I spoke with his sister and she tells me the whole family is trying to hold on to hope. This is gut-wrenching, emotional. Teresa Lawson and family are searching for answers regarding the whereabouts of their loved one, Philip Carnell. He's always been athletic, uh, was a baseball player, and um, strong as an ox. He's, he's probably one of the strongest guys I've met and loves the outdoors. Um, you're, he's he's what, what I just like, your typical, you know, outdoor guy. He just, he, you know, cars. Um, hunting <laughs> how long has he been hunting for oh my goodness all of his life i don't i can't remember when when they never when he didn't but after carnell's disappearance on sunday she says the possibilities have been overwhelming there were some times in the last 48 hours that um I thought my reality was going to be that I would not get to have my brother. Lawson says her younger brother suffered from a stroke just a few years ago and has not been able to take his medication since his disappearance. Philip had a stroke a couple of years ago, and so um, he has a, a little left side weakness and which causes him to have a little difficulty um, with strength in his and walking. Authorities tell us footprints were found with a drag in the left foot along with Carnell's gun and some of his hunting gear. Because they found footsteps, that tells me that he is not unconscious somewhere, that he didn't freeze to death, um, that tells me that he was upright, and so that fills me with hope. The Carter County Sheriff says they are cautiously optimistic with finding Carnell and are asking volunteers to not show up without calling the Sheriff's Department first. At the moment, Carnell is still missing. If you want to help, call 573-351-8536. In the studio, Jeffrey Bullard, Heartland News.